Welcome to another episode of TD101. In this, our fifth episode, we will learn about types of lines as well as how to use them. Now, in technical drawing, we are given a pencil to draw. We are not given a pen, we are not given crayons, we cannot sculpt, we cannot carve. As such, we have to use this single pencil to give a lot of various information about our drawing. As such, in technical drawing, we employ the use of various types of lines to provide these information. I am going to go ahead and draw some of the basic lines that we use in technical drawing. Okay, as you can see, there are seven different types of lines that I have drawn on the paper. However, there are more than seven line types that exist in technical drawing. I've just gone ahead to draw some of the basic line types that most persons should know. Okay, I am also going to explain the usage of five of the line types shown here. The other two, you may not fully grasp the concept of how to use these lines given the basic level of TD that we are exploring in TD 101. So I'm going to go ahead and write the names of the lines so that you can see. Okay, so the five types of lines that we will explore today are as follows. The construction line, the outline, the hidden line, the center line, and the dimension line. We will start off with the construction line and the outline. The construction line and the outline are two of the most commonly used lines in technical drawing. I can guarantee you that you'll use these lines much more often than the other lines that we will be looking at today. The construction line is used as a guideline when we are replicating various objects in technical drawing, while the outline serves to as the word suggests, outline the shape of whatever you are drawing in technical drawing. I am going to draw this object. As you can see, it is a charger adapter, a Samsung charger adapter. I am going to draw two views of this object so as to demonstrate how guidelines and outlines are used in technical drawing. So, as you can see here, I have drawn the Samsung adapter. 
I have drawn two views and by views I mean two different ways that you can look on the drawing on the object rather this view and this view now if you notice my construction lines were used as guidelines so for example when I've after I was through measuring this section I've used the construction lines in order to get the second drawing right so the construction lines were used as guidelines so that when I'm outlining the object I had no issues in getting this object in line with this object and another thing that I wanted to observe is that I also used the outlines sorry the construction lines as guidelines for transferring the measurements meaning it's the same object this piece here once I've drawn it over this side I just used the construction line to transfer the measurement so I don't have to remeasure right so with the outline now if you notice it is showing you the shape of the object so the construction lines are not doing that however the outline is doing that by using the outline you can clearly see that this port that you would use to plug your charger cable you can see by the outline that it is rectangular in shape right and you can also see that this portion at the top you can also observe the shape right so basically the construction lines are used as guides when drawing very much like how your t square is used as a guide for your set square and it is used as a guide to draw horizontal lines now the outline is used to give the shape or to outline the shape of whatever you're drawing now I'm going to go ahead and utilize the center line and the hidden line and then explain what they do okay so you might have noticed something different I have installed my center lines as well as my hidden lines let's start with the hidden lines you may be asking what is this about why did I all of a sudden put hidden lines here let me explain that to you if you look at this object by just looking at it you will not know that there's a hole at the side but by turning it around you will realize that there's a hole at the side this hole is to plug your charger cable now in when drawing this in technical drawing we have to show that there's a hole when we are manufacturing products we work based on the drawings and the drawings has to show that there's a hole there so we use the hidden detail lines to show how deep this hole is so when we turn to this side we'll see the hole to this side we will not see the hole but it will be shown using the hidden detail lines that will plug the charger this way now if you turn the object again you'll notice that there are two holes in the metal portion that is shown here when you turn it this way you will not see any holes however in technical drawing we still have to show a representation of the holes you by using hidden detail lines now as it relates to center lines the center lines are drawn at the center of the object now if I was to hide a piece of the object 
you will notice if I flip it, it will give me the exact shape on the other side. So that's where center lines can be used. It is basically showing the center of gravity. The center lines are normally drawn to show the axis of symmetry. Oh, big word. That's a word that you should look up. This drawing as well, there's a center line that splits the object right down the middle, right? Another way that center lines can be utilized is by drawing horizontal and vertical center lines so as to indicate the center of a circle. Now, if you look closely, you'll realize that you have one center line coming down vertically. You have another center line going across horizontally. They meet at the center of this circle. If you notice over the other side, where the hidden details are, there's another center line going across. This is to indicate the center of the hole that is going through both these metal pieces. So I've just shown you three ways that center lines are used to show the center of an object. To show the center of a circle and by showing the center of a circle you have to draw two center lines and to show the center of a hole or a vacuum which is made by a circle going the other way right i'm going to finally put in the dimension lines and i'm going to explain what those do Okay, I just realized that I've forgotten some of the hidden detail lines and I've gone ahead and placed the rest of the hidden detail lines where they should be. Now, if you notice this object again, you'll realize that I've placed some hidden detail lines. This is to show that this metal portion of the object is lodged a certain distance inside the plastic housing. You have to show that, right? Now, regardless of the view that you're looking at, whether this view or this view, you would not see that this portion is going inside the plastic portion. And as such, you have to use hidden detail lines to show that piece of information. So let's move right along to the dimension lines. Now, these are simply showing the measurements of various parts of the object. If you notice the dimension lines, it consists of a line going across, showing the span of the object. Now the arrows at each end is showing where the distance starts and stops and there are some other lines to show where on the object the measurement is being shown. Right? So if you notice there are one, two, three, four, five, six dimension lines on the object. There could have been more, but for in the interest of time, I've just placed this, the number of that you're seeing there. So I hope the demonstration that I did a while ago has helped you to grasp the concept of lines, line usage, etc. So let's recap. In technical drawing, we use various line types 
to show various information on a drawing. Now, we have looked at five types of lines, the construction line, the outline, the hidden detail line, the center line, and the dimension line. The outline is used to outline the shape of whatever you're drawing. The construction line is used as a guideline to assist you in drawing. The center line is used to show the center of objects. The hidden detail line is used to show details that cannot be seen with the naked eye. And the dimension line is basically showing you different measurements on the drawing. I hope you guys have learned a lot. Please like, share the knowledge, subscribe to the page so that we can grow together. Have a good day.